2024. And I want you guys to hold me accountable. I want you guys to be witness for this. 2024, I'm going to develop a damn video game. It's time to play the game. Time to play the game. And uh, welcome to the pilot of the second new series of the year. Um, this is the one that I promised in the rewind. This is where it all begins. This is me making it a game. So yeah, I just wanted to make a short little video to tell you guys this is the start, this is the beginning, and that you can look back and say, you know, this is where it all well began. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I, I did a little bit of quite a bit of extensive research and stuff um, over the past months or so like I did play around with a lot of game engines I did do a lot of courses on Udemy and uh, quite a lot of other stuff and, and look at, looking at that and I decided you know what we're just gonna make a nice easy game at first we don't have to go big at the first round we don't have to make something super innovative at the first t turn like we can just make a game get it out there see how we do and then work maybe with play testing or you know um keep updating it or keep refining it so yeah um i did a quick course which did give me a little bit of a more organized uh, structured view of how i want to approach this project and it started off with this when you're making a game when you're making your first game you need to have three things first genre setting gameplay so if i said okay i want to choose a genre a setting and gameplay and go from there so at the time, I was playing Red Dead Redemption, enjoying that a lot, so I thought, you know, I don't see a lot of Western games, let's make a Western game. So that's the genre. Now, uh, the setting, obviously the setting explains itself, the Wild West, so that's what's done. Gameplay. Damn, so I decided, no, you know what, I don't want to go into the whole, make a shooter and stuff like that, I want to maybe just do something else. So the other thing I did enjoy uh, with Red Dead was, like, the way it kind of represented the whole... The whole, the whole package of being a rancher or someone in the Wild West, it didn't just obviously focus on the outdoor stuff, it focused on the other stuff like ranching um, and doing menial tasks at the farm and stuff like that. So I thought, what if I just make a cute little, like, uh, cutesy 2D game that's talking about the medial tasks that you do as a cowboy or as a farmer or whatever in the Wild West. So you can go, like, pet your horses, fetch hay, uh, anything like that like menial tasks i'm still hashing out the details of that but there it's done so i got my genre by setting my gameplay and i could begin second thing i wanted to pick up was a game engine obviously game engines cater to your, to your needs um unreal was immediately thrown out the window because um i have a potato for pc that is not going to work uh unity was also a option but uh unity has its own issues with the whole runtime fee that this video absolutely can't cover and is an absolute shambles right now but yeah unity is not in a good space i don't really want to spend my uh, resources and time on unity when i know that maybe like one day companies and stuff like that are not going to or going to possibly move away from unity so i wanted to look at the two smaller ones the two like uh, more open source ones and uh, ones for simpler products so that was godot um i hope i'm saying the name correctly and game maker so Godot and Game Maker are two smaller ones. Obviously, they have seen a little bit more attention with the whole fall of Unity and stuff like that. But yeah, Godot is both both for 2D and 3D projects. It's open source, uh, quite a good option. I had a few tests of that and did a little project myself in that one. I found fun. Um, Game Maker I picked up later on, but that's mostly only 2D stuff. So I decided I'm gonna give Game Maker a try for this one, uh, just because it's it's catered towards a 2D and that's all I'm really to be focusing on really, and yeah, that's about it. That's where I'm beginning now. So I'm just telling you I'm decided on a Western game, focusing on the menial tasks and stuff that you do as a cowboy or farmer or whatever, and I'm making it a Game Maker. So I've started a little bit, but like I said, a little bit, not at all. So I've literally made two sprites here, as you can see. I am in my game project. Um, that's like a saloon and a cowboy and obviously in real life I don't see myself doing like I don't want to do I want to definitely be part of a whole developing experience in it but I don't think I'm the right guy to do the art and the design and stuff of the game so forgive me these are very rudimentary designs because it's done by yours and yours truly 
but it's just for the functionality of putting it in a game. So, yeah. Next episode will be focusing more on the sprites, which is those drawings you saw there, as I'm going to be fleshing out what everything is that I want to place on the map, as well as when it comes to characters and um, their interactions and whatever. It's going to be a lot. It's going to take time to make these sprites, obviously, with my artistic abilities, it will be a, a daunting task, but we're going to push through. So, yeah, the, uh, the groundwork has been laid, the challenge has been laid down, and we're going to start now. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this. I hope you guys joined me on my incredible journey. And, yeah, thanks for all the support you've given me. Uh, I love you all. And I'll see you hopefully in the next episode soon.